So I gathered all these great ingredients for our Memorial Day magic cake. That's right, it's magic. <laughs> this is really exciting. Look at these eggs. Have you ever just like touched and felt what an, what an egg is like? How smooth it feels in your hand. How you want to just take the egg and you want to just go like that. Oh, and just get it right in the bowl. There you go. Wow. All right, here comes another egg because my recipe calls for three eggs. Ah, vegetable oil. You can't make vegetable oil. Just buy it in the store. And you put it in with the egg. There we go. Oh, that looks amazing. We're in the middle of the pandemic and we're making a cake for Memorial Day. And it's been so long since we've celebrated anything, right? Isn't that the case? I just want to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Go ask Alice. minutes and I actually had to put a timer on it so I would remember to come and get it <laughs> otherwise it would just stay in there like when I leave the eggs boiling on the stove and I totally forget about them I do I I'm embarrassed to admit this I totally forget that the eggs are boiling on the stove and then all of a sudden I hear gunshots gunshots ladies and gentlemen and then I know that the eggs have exploded on the ceiling in the kitchen. So we wouldn't want anything like that to happen with a cake. So I'm gonna take it out of the oven. Wow, that pan sure is hot, but look, look, would you look at this? Wow, my, this is my first cake ever. My first cake ever. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Don't you love my little mitts? They're like, they're like little puppets. Whitney made her first cake. Tell me about her first cake. Well, it looks like it's going to be really good because she's got something in store for everybody on that cake. Oh, really? What is it? You have to wait and see. So I have this fun, fetty, vibrant frosting that I am going to put on top of my cake because after all, what is cake without the frosting, right? And I hope I, hope I have enough frosting. I mean, how do you know if you have enough of anything anymore in this world, right? The other day, I had the schedule for when the toilet paper delivery was. That's right, in, in Rite Aid. And I go to get in there and I didn't have the right day. And you know what happens when you don't have the right day? You know, you leave empty handed or you have to, you have to leave with that expensive four pack toilet paper from China. You know the one. It's got the panda bears on it. I mean, come on, where, where on earth did this panda bear, panda bear toilet paper come from? absolutely ridiculous okay um so as you can see now we're frosting the cake doesn't that look luscious i mean i know a lot of you will do a better job and i'm sure my friend evan lawrence if he's watching this right now he's cringing evan you're cringing aren't you okay so we're gonna decorate the top of the cake with sprinkles looks beautiful doesn't it and because my personal motto is you can never have too many sprinkles. You can never be too rich or too thin or have too many sprinkles, can you? I'm gonna take and get some more colored sprinkles on top of this cake. Admit it, your mouth is starting to water right now. And then I'm going to take and tastefully sprinkle some raspberries on top of it. All right, are you getting excited? I am, I'm getting excited. It's really starting to look like something. And then some blueberries on top of it. Oh, you're probably saying to yourself, when is she gonna quit? Well, she's not a quitter, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who know me, I am not a quitter, all right? And I'm gonna cover the top of the cake with that. And 
I have totally, totally impressed myself on Pandemic Cooking with Wendy today. And, 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 and because I had such a good time, I had such a good time eating that little piece of magical cake that I did that somebody gave me for my birthday. I had such a good time doing that. Look, ladies and gentlemen. Oops! Edibles! That's right! These are gummy edibles. And we're going to just sprinkle some of that on top of the cake because you know what? I want all of you to have a great Memorial Day. I want you to forget about this goddamn pandemic and everything that's going on out there and say to yourself, it's Memorial Day. Let them eat cake. And once you have a bite of my Magic Mountain Memorial Day cake, I think you'll agree. There's nothing like it. Whoops! That was hot. Okay. Wait a sec. I need... Hello again! I need my mitts. Alright, I want to show you how great it came out. I am so proud of myself. How cool is that? Happy Memorial Day! And we have dessert on Pandemic Cooking with Wendy.